Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm with Kirk Herbstreet here in the booth. And we're also joined by our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. ESPN and EA Sports brings you what is sure to be another great game of football. Today's matchup features the UNC Tar Heels and the Duke Blue Devils. This is Wallace Wade Stadium, located here in the Old North State, North Carolina. It's a cold day, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's been a great football season so far, and it'll only get better as the bowl picture comes into focus here late in the season. For Duke, they're led by this excellent quarterback. He's your classic gunslinger. He's got the vision and the arm to do a lot of damage. Time now for the coin toss, and we'd like to let everybody know that this game is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Morris. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. From the five-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The first drive of the game about to get underway as the quarterback leads his team out. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Second and nine. Ball on the 21. Got a man. Watch out here. Good tackle there in space. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. catch and he's got room here he goes down at the 30 what a great play this is the timing that we talked about in the free game that they must have in order to be successful at their passing game that time the quarterback threw it to a spot and his receiver was there to make a nice grab and the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten They go with the back, and he's got room. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. First and 10, ball on the 16. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. Play fake. Defense bearing down. The pass falls incomplete. Young, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Toss play. Tackle at the eight. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. 
And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. They've got the defense on their heels now. It's first and goal. Ball on the four. They're going to pitch it. It's away from him. Touchdown. This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. North Carolina up six and he tacks on the extra point but here's the drive summary to recap what just happened North Carolina to kick he's to the 10 See how this offense responds as they take the field down seven to nothing. Look, scoring is what an offense is supposed to do. These guys just need to remember what they did in practice all week. McLaurin on the give. They'll bring him down right around the 20. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 20-yard line. Ready. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more a part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. From their own 31-yard line. First down. McLaurin gets a carry left side. He tackles him for a loss. The blockers tried to sell the misdirection, but the defenders stayed home and made the play. That's the kind of effort a coach likes to see from his defense. Caught. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Back to pass. He's taken down at the 34. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From the 34-yard line, first down. The ball pops free. They'll start this drive at the 48-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Their legs are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the offense. Loss of about two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Second and 13. Ball on the 46-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Knocked out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice gain.
Third down, four yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Steps out at the 43. So the defense will hold them as they go three and out. Picture-perfect defense on that drive. That's what the defensive coordinator wants to see every single time. And again, they provided great pressure on the play, and the offense just wasn't able to get the first down. The ball is loose. four-yard line. First down. They work the right side, and there is nothing going there. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. It and oh, he dropped it. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Touchdown! Huge play! He's off to a fast start. That completion puts him at 100 yards. Still a long game. And I'm sure this defense is going to adjust to this passing attack because right now the offense is seemingly moving the ball at will. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. And now we take a look at the drive summary. Duke ready to kick this one off. Morris from the seven gets to about the 24-yard line. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. After a decent pickup, Young picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, three yards to go. Ball on the 31. Straight run, and he's brought down to the backfield. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. Third and four. This place is starting to get fired up. And it's caught. There's and there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding. 
on the offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third down, 14 yards to go. And we're all tied up at the end of the first quarter. At the end of the first quarter, the score is touchdown. Third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. It started with a student section. Now this whole place is going crazy. Crenshaw steps back to pass. Passes back across his body, but nobody there. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Odom is the punter. Oh, excellent punt. What a collision. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Here's a running play. Bounces off a would-be tackler. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Misdirection handoff. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. That'll make it second and four. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 34. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. It's a five-yard pickup on the play, and that'll move the sticks. Well, the important thing is they were able to pick up the first down. And they're really starting to show how much they're relying on this halfback to do all of the work. Right now, he's looking pretty good. First and 10, ball on the 29. Straight run, nothing going on there. And they pick up two yards. That'll make it second to seven. From the 27 yard line, second down. the 16-yard line. He's up to 2,000 yards passing this year. Game in and game out, he has shown up and performed at a high level. His stats reflect that, and so does the respect he's earned from his opponent. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 16. They line up in the red zone for the first time today. Another run. McLaurin picks up two yards with a carry. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 14 yard line, it's second down.
straight run. Nothing going on there. A pickup of about three. That'll make it 35. And this play is number eight on the drive. McDonald from the six. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. North Carolina will try to get down the field here and tie this game up before halftime. They'll throw on first down. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Excellent open field tackle. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Crenshaw, back to pass. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. He looks to throw on first down. And he's tackled in the open field. Nice pass there, and the quarterback was under a lot of pressure from the defense. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Crenshaw hasn't thrown a bad one this drive. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. From their own 34-yard line, second down. He drops back. Great effort here by the big man getting his hands on the ball, but it would have been even more impressive if he'd hung on to it. From their own 34-yard line, third down. Setting up play action. Knocked down, incomplete. Wasn't a bad pass at all, but just a good heads-up effort to get his fingertips on the ball. So it's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Odom awaits the snap. 
Signals for a fair catch. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. The offense will start at the 23. And he just gets rid of it. Touch of a grounder on the offense. Now the quarterback seemed a little bit rattled that time. And that hurts big time because it'll cost him yards and the down. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. And he's hit as he throws. It's a good play here in the secondary. When the safety commits, he needs to be there at the right time because he's the last line of defense. From their own 10-yard line, it's third down. Duke is up by a touchdown. He's got it with room to run. Offense. They're running this route just like it looks on paper, and the defense just can't stop it. Throws it, and it's tipped away. That was a nice, nice play to close on the ball like that. You can't teach that kind of reaction. It's just natural ability. Second down, 10 yards to go. Throws out to the running back, no good. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Duke up seven points. It's broken up. Excellent awareness and timing. He followed the quarterback's eyes and fought to get his arm up in time to prevent a possible conversion. So it's fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Wade is waiting for the snap. Down he goes at the 18-yard line. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? The offense will take over at the 18. They come out in a goal line set. Give to the tailback. Broke away from one. Brought down at the 36-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. First down, 10 yards to go. He's looking to pass. The pass is incomplete. Glover was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10, ball on the 36. Look at the throw. It seems like he might have floated that pass just a little bit too much because the defender was able to get his hand in there and swipe it away. From their own 36 yard line, third down. to pass get on the throw he caught it he's tackled right around the 50 
That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. Our score here at Wallace Wade Stadium, the Blue Devils, 14, the Tar Heels, 7. Wilson, North Carolina will we'll be kicking off to start the second half. He'll return it from the three. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Clipping on the receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. They'll go to work at the nine-yard line. McLaurin on the right side. McLaurin gains about five yards on the run. Second and five coming up here. Duke is up seven. Again with a carry. Nice run to the left there. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. First and ten. Ball on their own 20. Duke is up a score. He looks to throw on first down. Picked off by the senior. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49. Rodriguez takes the give. This is picture-perfect defense by this corner. Great job of providing run support. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Here's the run. Got a hole. He goes down at the 23-yard line. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. And a little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding. You've probably heard it said that there's holding on every play. It's just not called. I don't think it's really that prevalent, but you can get away with it sometimes, and other times you can't. First and long. Tackle right around the 22-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. From the 22-yard line, second down. the left side. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. It's third down, nine to go. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Tackle made around the 14-yard line. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. What a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch 
by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. Keeps it on the ground, and they won't get the first down. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job on the defense to shut them down. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. Makes the catch and look out. He's taken down at the 36 yard line. From their own 36 yard line, first down. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. And this one's broken up. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. From their own 33-yard line, third down. He's to the 40. And down he goes. Right around the 50. I'll tell you what, this defensive coordinator is not afraid to send the house. He brought every linebacker, and the quarterback is still able to convert the first down. From midfield, it's first down. the pass broken up excellent pass defense You've got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there second down and 10 to go ball on the 50 gets it he's in space and they make the stop at the 27. Another catch, and he's up to 100 yards now. He poses a lot of problems for defenses with his size and skill. And he's really come through with his receiving today. From the 27-yard line, first down. Again, he'll get the call. And he's tackled right around the 18-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Nice run up the middle. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. It's first and ten. Ball on the 14.
They try him again, and this time they've got him in the backfield. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. Tenth play of the drive. They'll keep it on the ground again. Sheds a tackler. Runs it left for a decent game. That makes it And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. The score here in Durham, North Carolina. Duke, 14. North Carolina, 7. It's the 11th play of the drive. boy almost intercepted you don't want to knock the big guy because it was a very good play but it looked like he could have come up with the interception to kick this one off. Morris takes it from the six. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Now is when you have to get the ball to your impact players. Down two possessions. If these guys wait any longer to step up, it's going to be too late. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. Crenshaw set to go to the air. He's out to the 30. He has some room. Knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. From their own 44-yard line. First down. Feeds it to the back. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Seven yards there. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. McDonald on the inside handoff gains his way to the 40-yard line. You love having this kind of weapon. You already know what kind of damage he can cause in the passing game. And here you can see what he can do when you hand the ball off to him. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Drop down at about the 29-yard line. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. Let's go, team! Yeah. yeah! From the 29-yard line, first down. Deep pass to the end zone. Can't make the grab. The ball's incomplete. McDonald was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 29-yard line, second down. Go 
Goes left and tackled in a hurry. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Brings up third and ten. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. calls a timeout. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. No, he's short of the first. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. They'll go to work at the 20. First down, 10 yards to go. To the right and tackle immediately. McLaurin gets around three on that halfback counter play. Really just nowhere to go on that play. It's a good job of these guys slowing down that running game. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 23. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First and ten. Again, nice run there. Morris McLaurin picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up second and three. From their own 48 yard line, second down. James. This defense should know what's coming at this point, but this rushing attack is a tough one to stop. McLaurin will run it again. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. The defense calls a timeout. Second down and a couple of feet. Ball on the 39. And he's taken down at the 37. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. 
the 37 yard line. It's first down. Try to run it inside, and he's hammered. Just a yard there. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Again with a carry. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. And for McLaurin, he just broke 100 yards on the ground. I'm so impressed with the way he runs, and I've got to say, he might be my favorite at this point for the Heisman Trophy. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Nice run up the middle. Number 25 with the run. Call it again at five yards. That makes it second and six. Tenth play of the drive. Second down. They go right back to him, and he's met behind the line. over and our final score in this one Duke 17 North Carolina 7 time to enjoy another look at Reese's perfect play of the game brought to you by Reese's peanut butter cups the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter Herbie what do you got for us on paper there wasn't a lot separating these two teams it was a well-deserved win. Duke didn't have an easy matchup on their hands, but put together a really solid effort for the win. And for McLaurin, his great performance earns him our player of the game. For Duke, they keep their unbeaten record intact. And for North Carolina, they weren't able to get the win they needed to become bowl eligible. With 10 games in the books, they've only got two shots left to get See that sixth win. For so EA Sports, for Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.